Is it a horror series? Can we watch it? Is it not too scary? Why the Hunting of Diamondor is totally different from the Hunting of the Hill House? So here is the answer. What's the real catch in the Diamondor? I will not sugarcoat anything. guys it's Kat and welcome back to my youtube channel so today is October 18 it is a Sunday so for today's video it's another episode of Catflix for those of you who do not know Catflix is a series here on my channel wherein I review movies and series so just like my previous series review this review will not even contain any of the spoilers so if you haven't watched the series yet this is the perfect review for you to watch the see so the series <laughs> So the series I'm going to review is The Hunting of Diamondor, which also I would like to differentiate with The Hunting of the Hill House. And just a disclaimer, The Hunting of Diamondor is not the part 2 of The Hunting of the Hill House. They have the same cast, some were added, but they have different characters. So The Hunting of the Hill House started streaming on Netflix last October 12, 2018 with a total of 10 episodes while The Hunting of Diamond Noir started streaming on Netflix last October 9, 2020 to be exact it was released at 3 p.m. here in the Philippines with a total of 9 episodes. So The Hunting of the Hill House was based on a true book which was entitled also The Hunting of the Hill House by Shirley Jackson while The Hunting of Bly Manor was based on a book entitled The Turn of the Screw by Henry James and did you know that Stephen King said the two books are the great supernatural novels in the last hundred years so technically these books are really 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 great so a lot of people are asking why the hunting of diamond or is totally different from the hunting of the hill house so here is the answer so the hunting of the hill house was created by mike flanagan and the cinematographer is michael fimognari who was also the cinematographer on one of the top movies on netflix to all the boys i've loved before while on the hunting of diamond or flanagan only directed the first episode and the other eight episodes the rest of the episode were given to the new two directors who are Sharon Foy and Liam Gavin and the cinematographer is not Fimognari anymore it is James Nist I don't know if I pronounce it right who is also the cinematographer of the Annabelle creation so that's really it the fact that they have different directors already made a huge impact on the difference between the two series. So just what like eh. Uh, so just what like eh. Uh, so just what like I said earlier, the cast or actors are the same, some were added, but their characters is totally, totally different from the new series. Only that the actors who portrayed Steve and Shirley on The Hunting of the Hill House were not present anymore in The Hunting of Bly Manor. Quick trivia, did you know that the character who portrayed Flora in The Hunting of Bly Manor is also the voiceover of Peppa Pig? So the huge... <laughs> So the huge difference is about the plot or the main story. The Hunting of the Hill House is basically about the family while The Hunting of Diamond North is about love. And also I would like to appreciate one episode on The Hunting of the Hill House. It is episode 6. It is between the past and the present. It is a continuous shot with a total of 17 minutes. So imagine that without any cuts without any interruptions it is filmed with only one shot 
They actually rehearsed it for one whole month and some critics say that it is one of the best episodes on Netflix. So personally, The Haunting of the Hill House scared me more than The Haunting of Bly Manor because maybe the jump scares on The Haunting of the Bly Manor is lesser. And honestly speaking, The Haunting of the Hill House is more catchy every episode. And yes, The Haunting of Bly Manor is catchy too, but not as attached as The Haunting of the Hill House. And I think that is the most important thing while you're watching a series because the series contains a lot of episodes and the series must catch your attention and that you will be immediately attached to the story so that you will not lose your interest while watching it. Both of the series will leave you a lot of questions in your mind. The only difference is that The Hunting of the Hill House is consistent while The Hunting of Bly Manor, I think it's... I mean, I also have a lot of questions but it is not convincing. And to be honest, I will not sugarcoat anything. The Hunting of the Hill House is so exciting while the hunting of Bly Manor is kinda... Boing. But don't get me wrong, in a way that there are huge lapses or I think dead air. But I must tell the story is really 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 great. Let me put it this way. The hunting of the hill house. You have a lot of questions in your mind. You have a lot of thoughts. But in every scene that you watch, you wanted it more and more and more. And the more you watch it, the more the questions in your mind pops out. While the hunting of Bly Manor, yes, you have a lot of questions in your mind. But the more you watch the series, the more your mind is getting twisted on the details compared to The Hunting of the Hill House, which is clearer, I think. Because seriously, you need to wait for 8 episodes before you can feel the thrill on Bly Manor. On The Hunting of Bly Manor, everyone is a suspect because everyone is acting so suspicious. The two series talks about the trauma on death and on how they cope up with it. And the biggest similarity is the house. They give so much importance that they treat the house as the member of their family. Because also there is a particular scene on the hunting of the hill house that says come home and also on the hunting of the blind manor. And is it just me who noticed that the background music on the episode 8 of The Hunting of Bly Manor is similar to The Hunting of the Hill House? So let's talk about The Hunting of Bly Manor. It is about the young au pair who is Danny. By the way, au pair means a woman who helps a housework or childcare in exchange for room or board. So Danny was hired to look after the two children in the Bly Manor. She was hired by the uncle of the two children who is Henry. Their parents already died that is why their uncle Henry is the one who manages the Bly Manor and the children. So during the interview, Henry was so curious why Danny applied as an au pair. In fact, she is so young and she can apply for other more jobs. So Henry asked, what is the catch? While Danny was curious why the ad in the newspaper on hiring an au pair keeps showing in the newspaper for months already. So Danny also asked, what is the catch? Henry was hesitant first on hiring Danny but Danny said that she wanted to be hired so that she can make a difference. So it will immediately give you a lot of questions in your mind. Does Danny really want to be an au pair or is she running away from something? Why is it that no one is applying for the job as an au pair in the Bly Manor? What's the real catch in the Bly Manor? If you want the answers, you better watch it. If you watch the series already, you better keep on watching because you might miss some symbols and lessons. Just what like I've said, the house. They consider the house as their family. It is the center of the series. The chess box and the dress, it symbolizes the love for her daughter and it also symbolizes as the door from the present to the past. 
dolls. As you can see in the trailer, the dolls have no face. As their face fades, their memories also fades. The crack on the wall, it symbolizes the death of someone in the series. And last but not the least, the lake. So as you've seen also in the trailer, there is a lady in the lake. And the lake symbolizes as her new home or the new home of the people who died in the Bly Manor. It also symbolizes their hope that they can escape to that lake and they can be alive again and they can escape entirely to the Bly Manor. You shouldn't be trapped in the past because the more you were trapped in the past, the more you will not be freed from it the more you will not move forward and the more other people might affect it acceptance is one of the keys on how to move on because if you won't accept the reality you won't be able to move forward loving someone doesn't guarantee you that that person will love you the same way too don't be selfish if you love someone and that person wants to go let them we have our own alter ego wherein we cannot accept the fact that we did something wrong that is why we create this alter ego for us to blame it not ourselves we always tend to go back to the good memories and make it as an excuse for us to go back to the past and to not move forward well in fact we should just keep the good memories and not make it as a bridge for us to go to the present to the past to the present to the past and back and forth we should let it go sometimes sometimes loving someone doesn't mean that you should never let go but sometimes the greatest symbol of love is the sacrifice of letting go too much anger or grunge to someone will not give anything good to you the person whom you trust so much can betray you love can let us do all the crazy things it can make you do things that you can't imagine that you can possibly do i really really love this quote on the first episode of the series to truly love another person is to accept that the work of loving them is the worth of the pain of losing them so loving someone is equals to pain because you cannot simply define love without pain so to wrap it up for those of you who are asking is it a horror series can we watch it is it not too scary yes you can definitely watch it if you're not a horror lover and you are easily scared one of the characters said that it is not a horror story it is actually a love story then the other character said that what makes it a horror one it is a horror story because the greatest fear that we have is not about on the ghosts. It is the fear of losing the person we love the most and the fear of death not being with them. The real horror is our emotions. And that I can say, it is perfectly splendid. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series review that i made don't forget to comment below your other movie or series suggestions that you want me to review or the other vlogs that you want me to do don't forget to like share comment subscribe and click the notification bell button for you to get notified whenever i post another video see you again on my next vlog ciao